The title of this video is How to get where you want to be. Where is your journey in life taking you? Your present direction and the route you will travel will affect your path for the rest of your life. Will your behavior and decisions get you where you want to be? Please subscribe to our channel so you can receive notices whenever we put out our weekend videos. And please like and share this video with your contacts. Let's look at why you exist. You are alive. That is the objective reality. The date and age of your last birthday and your continued survival to journey to the next birthday. Real. Your way of life and lifestyle have shaped many circumstances and situations to this day. Yes, in some ways you are reaping what you have sown. But today, living your life by faith in Jesus, the Son of God. In Christ, we have a new identity and a new purpose for living. To know Christ and to be like Him. Christianity is not a religion of rules and rituals. We strive to establish love and relationships as the center of our reality and our existence. Life is too short to have no destination or a goal in mind. Aimless wandering. No definite purpose or plan will take you in an endless circle. Worse, you get lost. So what is the purpose of your life? Some may say the aim of life is to live and let live. There is a higher purpose to life than that. It is to know God and hear His voice. So for the believer in God and the follower of Jesus Christ, we exist to know God and to hear His voice, to accept Jesus Christ as Savior and Lord, and to be led by the Holy Spirit of God. It is in that context and the biblical standards set for our existence that we actually have life and live successfully in society and in harmony and peace. Our identities are defined by our God, the God in whom we believe. Your identity is in Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. So we walk in the will of God with Christ at the center of our lives. Now let's look at who you are. Well, who are you now? What defines your identity? What are your best and worst qualities? What are your beliefs? What are your personality traits, interests, drives, values, self-concept, abilities, and emotional patterns. Have you ever sat down to answer questions like these to know who you are? Are you anything like this profile in the Bible? Make every effort to supplement your faith with virtue. To the value of virtue, add knowledge, self-control, and steadfastness Godliness with brotherly affection, with love. Well, what did Jesus Christ do? He bore the judgment we deserve, the wrath we deserve for our sins. Jesus paid the price. He helps us change our lives, face our trials, and move forward with faith as we journey back to Him and the Father. Finally, let's now look at who you will be and become. You can develop into the total person God created you to be, the person you were born to be. The Holy Spirit of God can lead and show you qualities or abilities that may be developed and lead to future success or usefulness. With God, all things are possible. Prospects, developments, and mostly the promises of God in the Bible are made to those who believe in God and who follow Jesus Christ. They are made and they come to life as we believe and activate our faith in God. You have hidden talents and skills you never knew you had. Finding your hidden talent can benefit your career, your business, and personal life. You can do all things through Christ that God has planned for you to accomplish. God took a simple young woman, Esther, to have favor with the king and expose the plot of Haman to destroy the Jews. And God saved the Jews. God took a simple woman called Mary to become the mother of Jesus. Psalm 75 says, This I know. The favor that brings promotion and power does not come from anywhere on earth, for no one exalts a person but God, the true judge of all. He alone determines where favor rests. He anoints one for greatness and brings another down to his knees. 
Does all this promotion happen if you are in the wrong place with the wrong crowd? Well, it is the will and plan of God that has the ultimate say. Saul was with the bad people who were stoning Stephen. Wrong crowd, wrong place. But Jesus revealed himself to Saul after the martyrdom of Stephen. Saul, the Antichrist, antagonist into foremost Christian and apostle for the Christian cause of all time. Does all this progress and promotion happen with no work, focus, or perseverance on your part? No. Proverbs says, There is profit in hard work, but mere talk leads to poverty. You have to talk the talk and walk the walk if you expect to succeed. Put in the hard work and long hours and you will see wealth come your way. If you dream of it and don't take action, you won't gain any wealth. So there is hope for me still. Yes, yes indeed. With God, through Jesus Christ, no one is a hopeless case. So there is hope. So what do you want to achieve in the future? Now let's look at core values that must guide your behavior and your decisions if you are going to become who you must be. In the Sermon on the Mount, Jesus emphasizes the importance of both respect and vision in our lives. By cultivating these two values, we can create a more fulfilling and meaningful life for ourselves and for those around us. Treat everyone with high regard, with respect, even those that are less worthy or fortunate. Vision now is the faculty or state of being able to see, the ability to think about or plan the future with imagination or wisdom. In our video clip, Facts, Feelings and Faith, you will find more on this aspect, especially on thinking. If you are not a believer in Jesus Christ, we invite you to become a believer and to believe in Jesus and accept Him. Just a simple prayer of faith, God draws you to Him, Jesus Christ opens your heart, the Holy Spirit of God convicts you of your separation from God and your need for forgiveness of sin. We urge you to decide to follow Christ. It is as simple as that. Just pray this simple prayer. Dear Lord Jesus, I know I am a sinner and I ask for your forgiveness. You died for my sins and rose from the dead. I turn from my sins and invite you to come into my heart and life. I want to trust and follow you as my Lord and Savior. I pray this in your name. Amen. Welcome to the family and kingdom of God. And if your practice of the Christian faith is not what it was when you first accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you have drifted from Him. We invite you to recommit your life to our Lord, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Welcome. Until we meet again at Joel's Place, the Spiritual Lounge at Oasis, Auckland, have a great life and a better day. Thank you.